Hi guys, Jocelyn here. So I travel quite a bit as part of my job. So I thought I would share with you how I do my best to stick to good nutrition when I'm on the road. I know a lot of people struggle to make good choices and stick to their normal routines and habits when they're away from home. So my flight landed a couple hours ago. The first thing I did was head to a grocery store. Now the company I work for does give us a meal allowance every day, but I find the budget goes a lot further if I can get to a grocery store as opposed to a restaurant. So I like to think of going to a grocery store as if I was out on a hike trying to forage actual food out from nature. 99.9% .9 of what I would find if I was out on a hike would either kill me instantly or make me very sick, so not edible. If there were very few things that you have to pick through to find what's actually food. The grocery store now these days is exactly the same. So here's what I managed to forage. Got to get that salt in me, got those dilly bites, the nice crunchy ones. You find those in the deli. I picked up these carrots. They were grown by some local farmer here. They look really good and I love the colors. I love good garden carrots at this time of year in the fall. Um, looking for some protein. I did manage to find some natural shredded turkey. Um, I'll take that for lunch tomorrow. Turkey's a bit too lean though, so we gotta add some fat. I did find some traditional guacamole in the deli. The ingredients are good. Just avocado, onions, tomatoes, peppers. Nothing weird, no vegetable oils, no sugar. Um, I did pick up these. I've never tried them before, um, but they reminded me of the Starbucks egg bites. These are bacon and Swiss. They actually only have three grams of carbs for both of them, where the Starbucks ones are eight. They have potato starch in them. Otherwise, 18 grams of protein and 23 grams of fat, 11 grams of saturated fat. Love that. Um, so yeah, we'll give those a whirl tomorrow, see if they're any good. Also picked up an RX bar. It's a little more carbs than I would normally like, um, but it's good to have something in the bag just in case. If I do eat that one, I'll save it for post-workout, but otherwise normal stuff, egg whites, almonds, cashews, dates. What do they say? No BS in those ones. Um, and then I did find some organic blueberries that were on sale, bonus. And to go with them, I picked up some heavy whipping cream. No. <laughs> In part two of this video, I'm going to take you through my travel bag, what's in there. I do travel with my own immersion blender, um, and so I'm going to make my own whipped cream to go with these blueberries for kind of a dessert. For actual dinner, what I managed to find was this little roast from the deli. A little roast beef with some au jus. I was on the hunt for some red meat. Get some good protein, some good fat, and all those tasty nutrients. And I was looking for something that looked the least processed as possible, so that looked like a hunk of actual, <laughs> actual beef. There was meatloaf right beside it, uh, but I figured the meatloaf had probably been cut with like breadcrumbs or wheat in some way. So I went for the one that looked like actually just meat. So for dinner tonight, I'm gonna do roast beef, carrots, pickles, and then blueberries and cream for dessert.